Hi everybody! So I kind of wanted to talk about agave nectar because I know on a raw foods diet or of course especially a vegan diet too, um, there a lot of a lot of people really kind of desire to consume agave nectar and I personally I I know I do not consume agave nectar because I know from what I've learned it is not healthy. Just because something is plant-based doesn't necessarily mean that it's healthy, okay? Because there's a lot of vegan foods out there and, and health products out there that say it's healthy, but it's truly actually not healthy. It does actually more damage to your body than good, you know? And agave, agave nectar, in my opinion, is one of them because from what I've learned, um, OK Raw, John Kohler with OK Raw, I love his channel. If you've never heard of him, please go check out his channel. He's really knowledgeable on a raw foods diet and his testimony is amazing on how he's healed himself and saved his life, you know? on a raw foods diet and he did a couple of videos on agave nectar and it makes total 100% sense that agave nectar even though it's plant-based it's not healthy for the body and it's it's the same with coconut oil I mean even though coconut oil is just pressed coconut and it's the oils it's still not healthy to consume because it's pure straight oil and agave nectar it's pure straight syrup and and then of course then honey honey is another topic also um that that's like a whole nother video to for that but but it's a whole nother can of can of worms you know it's a whole nother topic with on honey but um agave nectar though is uh it, it it's it it's basically a plant-based version of high fruct fructose fructose or fructose syrup, you know, that really bad stuff, you know, that you always hear about on in processed foods, you know, and um, that is one thing that he was saying was it's basically a plant-based version of that, and and just because it's plant-based does not mean it's healthy, and because it's actually very addictive, it's addictive too and you find yourself you can actually gain a lot of weight from it also and again just because something is plant-based doesn't necessarily mean it's it's healthy and that's why it's so important to eat uh, a, 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 a plant-based diet kind of focusing it on a raw foods aspect you know in the raw foods raw foods arena meaning um, whole ripe raw fresh fruits and vegetables where the fiber is intact and um, all the, it's not disturbed or disturbed in any way really and because that's the way we're truly meant to eat it and and that's that's and that's where all the problems this is where the problem occurs arises is when mankind steps in and starts really um, processing plant foods and extracting certain things from the plant foods and everything and you have a small amount in a high, a high concentration in a small amount and it, that's when it becomes unhealthy especially when you consume it on a daily basis or on a very often basis you'll run into health problems later down the road on a short-term aspect but also on a long-term aspect too so that's why it's so important to eat whole ripe raw fresh fruits and vegetables that's why it's so important to eat raw foods and that's one of the main reasons one of the many reasons why i personally vouch and vouch for a whole a low-fat raw vegan diet a raw vegan diet because that's where there is no problems there's no possible problems you can run into on a raw foods diet and it's the problems start occurring is when mankind steps in and starts processing everything extracting everything and blending everything you know and and you can actually run into problems that way you know so it's just my thoughts and opinions there guys but uh, on agave nectar I know agave nectar there's a whole lot of other things to agave nectar also I don't claim to be the health, health expert at all you guys 
I don't claim to be. I don't want to be. Okay, this is just what I've learned. It's something I kind of just wanted to put my two cents worth in, you know, my two cents worth in and kind of just generally put it out there because I think it's very important to know and understand it too um, because we all learn from each other. You know, we all learn from each other and um, everybody's thoughts and opinions help each and every one of us in different ways and uh, so that, that and that's a good thing. That's a good thing, you know. And But I know for a guy actor that is something you want to stay clear of and uh, in my opinion but you most certainly can continue to consume agave nectar if you want to because it's all based off of your personal knowledge and what you have learned to be healthy okay it's what you have learned to be healthy in your health choices so it's only up to you to make the choices for yourself and how you want to feed your body and everything so um, it's completely up to you. It's completely fine with me, guys. You can do what you want, whatever floats your little raw boat or whatever floats your little plant-based boat, you know, so, or your plant or whatever floats your little vegan, vegan boat, you know, so, um, it's all good. It's all good. But anyways, I just thought I would mention that and kind of throw my opinions out there. So agave nectar is, um, yeah, there's a lot of health products out there that are very iffy. And because even though they claim to be healthy, it's actually not because it does more harm to you than good. And when somebody, especially us human beings, when, when we get the idea that, oh, this is healthy, we think we can eat as much as we want of it. When in in actuality you kind of can't you kind of can't I mean because it's been processed it's been man-made man has stepped in and tampered with it and and it can cause a problem long term it can cause a problem a health problem and a health concern later down the road you know and um, so that's why I think you can never go wrong with whole ripe raw fresh fruits and vegetables you can never go wrong with that and because there's like not one negative thing about eating a whole ripe raw fresh fruits uh, nuts and seeds, leafy greens, way of eating a diet that way, you know, um, from what I've learned, you know, so, okay guys, so I will stop babbling here, I'll let you guys go, remember to love being raw, you guys, put a big old smile on your face today, I hope I did that for you, oh my goodness, the lighting is so bad, I'm so sorry guys, I, I hit, I hit the screen, there we go, that's a big no-no, Stace, okay guys, so I'll see you guys next video, okay, <laughs> bye guys.